What am I doing? <laughs> Hi guys, future Emily here. It's now Friday and as you can see I am editing this video you're watching. Um, thought I'd pop on <laughs> and just explain that this vlog is the first week of using my brand new camera and I didn't realise until editing the video that some of the footage is really really bright. Um, throughout the week I kept thinking it looks really bright but I didn't realise the extent of it until I'm now um, editing it. I basically had a setting turned on that I didn't realise. Um, so it's now fixed. So next week's video will be like this and fine. So I do apologise for this vlog if some of it is very bright. Um, yeah, don't shout at me through your computer. Don't shout at me through your screen. Um, but yeah, enjoy the vlog and I will see you later. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to the start of another studio vlog. Does the quality look better? I really hope so. <laughs> I'm on my new camera, so if you watched last week, you'll have seen that. I got this camera last week and I'm so excited about it. I can see myself. I'll try not to look up there, but I'm so used to not seeing myself, so anyway. It's Monday. I seem in a very happy mood. <laughs> Am I though? I don't know. I didn't get much sleep and I've got lots to do and I had a slight meltdown with this camera this morning in that. <laughs> I had the tripod on it, so I'm currently using my old tripod, uh, my big tripod. I got this tripod with it, and this morning, this part that goes on the bottom of the camera was screwed so tightly to it that I couldn't get it off. Don't mind my printer, by the way. Um, I couldn't get it off to the point where I have a blister on my finger. It's so sore. So Matt's just had to save the day with some pliers. I didn't plan on using pliers on my new camera, but... um. Anyway, I managed to get it off and now I'm on this tripod um, because it's just what I know and I'm more comfortable with it. This scares me now <laughs> because it got stuck. It's Monday, it's Monday afternoon and I am currently putting together Patreon boxes. So the printer is going and it's gonna be going for a while because I have 33 boxes to put together. So I'm gonna be doing a print that's currently printing right now. Um, I do them A5 so I'm printing them to a sheet so we're printing 17 copies of that off i've just put together all of the backing boards and cello ready for those prints so that's done um but i need to do a sticker design for them and normally i do one sticker um but i had an idea overnight of doing a sticker pack now <sighs> am i being crazy for doing a sticker pack 33 people when I'm not prepared and I don't even know if I've got the uh, supplies for it. I think I should have. Um, I think I'm just going to go for it but I do need to design them so we'll see how that goes. I've never made a sticker pack before. I've done sticker sheets but I can actually picture what I want to do and it's a sticker pack. Could be an awful idea. Again thank you so much for watching. This week is uh, all over the place. I'm busy today. Tomorrow, unfortunately, I'm at a funeral tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be working tomorrow. And depending on how that goes, I might not work Wednesday. I just don't know how I'm gonna feel after tomorrow. It's, you know, they're not nice days, are they? I'm very quiet in my shop. I've had um, a studio get in touch this morning, though, with work, so that's promising. That's really promising that I've got animation work coming. So we'll see how that goes this week, and yeah. Basically, I hope you're all doing okay. We're still isolating and hopefully you're not affected too much. Hopefully you're spending time with family and you're just keeping nice and well. That's all I can wish for you. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get drawing. Chat to you soon.
done five um, sticker designs that kind of fit with the print. So I did a spell book, a, a candle, a portion, the crystal ball, and what was the fifth one I did? Oh my god, I can't even think what the fifth one is. But anyway, I've done them now, so I'm going to put them into Cricut Design Space and lay them out, do a test and see how it looks and if I like them. And if I do like them, I need to make three, 33 packs. <laughs> I think it looks all right it's quite purple um in the color but i actually kind of like it so i think i'm gonna leave it so i'm printing out like i'm cutting out those which is like two packs worth and i'm gonna do a test for putting it together and just see how it looks um it's such a massive job because i'm gonna have to do 16 more sheets and have them cut out but it'll be worth it it'll be good so that's my plan now i will show you what they look like when i put them together so here is the um, sticker pack I've done. So we've got like a crystal ball, the, the portion, tarot cards, um, a candle and a spell book. And yeah, I think that's quite cute. So I've printed two out and I'm now going to kind of put it together and see how the final sticker pack will look before I print out the rest. Right, so I've made a little backing card and it's printing now. It's actually the second one I've printed because the first one I did wrong. So hopefully... This looks okay. I use my trusty ruler to measure it. I hope this looks good. It's going to take me all night to do, so hopefully it pays off and people like them. So, let's trim it down. Now, I don't have the right size cello because this wasn't planned, so I'm sort of makeshifting and I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Um, right, how do I place these? Oh, it looks so she. <laughs> it looks so rubbish. Does it? So, I've made this little sticker pack. Does that look good? Casting spell sticker pack. And they're in there. It's the first attempt. <laughs> it looks alright. Let's see, let's do a test. Let's get my... So this is the print that's going to go with it. Put it in one of these cello bags. Right, let me know what you think. So this month's Patreon box is a print and a stick pack. Does that look good? <laughs> I'm worried that this looks awful, but I think they'll like it, hopefully. Mm, yeah yes I'm happy with it yes Emily I'm happy with it I'm happy so yeah I'm happy with it I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm questioning myself I think it's because when I'm new to something I've never tried it before I always get a bit like oh is it gonna go well but I'm happy so I am gonna make up the other 33 packs <laughs> it's gonna be a long night right I'll get cracking So all my prints are printed. There's 33 prints there. All of them have been signed. Can you see that? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, got two sticker packs done. I have a Lord printed, ready to go onto the Cricut. I have one currently being cut out. 
And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight done already. Hello, it's now Wednesday. I didn't work at all yesterday, like I mentioned. And yeah, I'm back in the office now. It's 10 o'clock on Wednesday. The last thing I filmed was my Patreon boxes. And I didn't end that clip, I don't think. I worked till really late, so I had to print them all. I printed all of the stickers which took a while. And now we understand why some people have two Cricut machines. I completely get why. I put them all in cello and um, I don't know if that's the best way that I've done it. I've got a packet here on it. Um, I don't know if this is like the best way to do it. Probably not, but it's my first time doing it. So we'll see. My plan was to have them literally boxed up on the Monday. So Tuesday morning, I would just drop them at the post office, but that didn't happen but they're all here, all the Patreon boxes. And this morning I've written all the envelopes out and I just need to put them in envelopes and drop them at the post office today. Um, I normally do a handwritten note in every single Patreon box, but this month I'm not going to. And if you're watching this and it's maybe your first month of getting a Patreon box, I'm really, really sorry. I normally love to write like little messages to everybody, um, but it takes me a while and also, on Monday, I mentioned that I got a blister. Did I, I don't, did I mention that? I had a little blister on my finger. Anyway, it's gotten so sore. <laughs> my whole finger feels like it's going to fall off. Um, so doing anything like writing is really difficult. The, the blister is right where I would hold a pen. So I worry that writing out 33, 34 um, letters <laughs> is literally going to make my finger fall off. So I'm not going to do that. So they'll go out today and people will start receiving them maybe Friday. So when you're watching this, you might be watching this and you'll be getting it today, hopefully. I mean, post is majorly delayed, so we'll just see, but it is on its way to you. Matt has just gone for a run. So while he's out, I'm going to quickly record a podcast. It was meant to go up yesterday, but I didn't have any time on Monday to get it recorded. And obviously I was out all day Tuesday. Yeah. When I say I was out all day, I know people will worry about that because obviously I'm meant to be inside and isolating. Current guidelines in the UK um, say that like weddings and things like that um, can't really go ahead, but funerals are allowed to go ahead. Only immediate family can go inside, um, 10 people max. Obviously it's Matt's family, although I am technically like immediate family. I, I couldn't go in unfortunately. So I went with them and I, was there for the whole thing and I stood outside the, the doors and, and listened and it was such a beautiful service but yeah we we were safe we kept our distance and yeah that's, that's all I just wanted to let you know that <laughs> I just wanted to let you know hopefully like me have to go to a funeral during this time hopefully you can attend and and it's okay right now we just don't know what will happen in the future but we were just so glad that we were able to have something for her anyway I'm going to record this podcast now and then what else is on my list? Pack the envelopes up so I'll show you how they're looking in a minute. Record this podcast, do that. I need to work on a portrait later and what else? I think that's all I'm going to worry about today. Yeah, I think so. I'll catch up with you later and let you know. So my podcast is done, recorded and uploaded. So that's good. I also uploaded a colouring sheet yesterday. So at least my patrons have a few things to do, listen to today. Um, and I just lined up a post that will go up later on Patreon. <laughs> Got so much going out today. It's things that I just didn't get done at the end of, of March. And obviously now we're into April, I need to get them out of the door. So I'm just wrapping up my art challenge that I did last month. Um, so I'm gonna show you the entries and show you what people have done because they look brilliant. So um, here are the different um, entries. They look really good. I didn't actually show you the mood board that I put together. You can kind of get the gist of what what might have been on there, the colours and the, the ideas. Um, but yeah, I think it looks so good and I'm so grateful for everyone that takes part. So thank you so much if you can see your artwork on here. So I'm going to share them. I've set that up to go live at 2.30. So that's done and I can just leave it to it. So now I need to work on my Patreon boxes. 
So I've got all my patient boxes and actually I need to go downstairs. I have um, written out this morning all of the addresses on the envelopes. So I need to grab those and then I need to put in what? There we go. <laughs> and then I need to put in, hang on, let me try and do this. So leave them there and this is everything. So I have all the prints. <laughs> And then all of these sticker packs, um, which I'm hoping people love, but I just don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to package them up now. done I've just put that on top to cover the address <laughs> 33 patreon boxes all done ready to go oh I'm exhausted <laughs> so they're all done and I have put custom labels on them and they're just literally ready to be dropped off at the post office so I'm gonna do that I think I'm kind of done and I'll come back in here tonight um, and work on a portrait and just some other bits and bobs I will say about the Patreon boxes, I get a lot of messages from people to say there's no slots left and we want to join. That's right, I have capped it. So I have 20 UK um, slots and I think it's 15 international. I've kept it capped because like you've seen, I put a lot of effort into it. it takes me a really long time. But going forward, boxes will be going out every two months instead of every month. So what you've just seen will be happening every other month now, which helps me out massively because it means that I can put more into the boxes and more time into the boxes and it's not a stress every month. So these boxes are going out and then the next ones will go out at the end of May. So because of this, um, I'm going to open up a couple more slots. Um, I'm expecting people to drop off during this time because obviously, you know, it is $10 a month. So... Um, but I am going to open up a few slots. So if you head to my Patreon and you want to be part of it, hopefully there's some slots for you. So if you join now, you won't get a, a box at the end of April, but you'll get one at the end of May. Yeah, that's it basically. I would love to have you and hopefully you like what I've done for this month's box. Um, and that's the kind of thing you'll expect. So it feels weird stopping working now, but I don't think I have anything else pressing to do. So I'm just going to stop. And I'm going to go to the post office and then I'm going to stop. So I might catch up with you tonight. It just depends if I'm working. If not, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning. <coughs> I should have said good afternoon. It's 10 to 4 and I'm in my jammers. I've had a shower. And I have washed my hair. And I've put a face on, but then I've put fresh jammers on. So technically I'm dressed, but I'm not. I'm in here and I am not doing much today. I did start a drawing last night on my iPad and I'm gonna finish it for you on the vlog, but it's currently, you can't see, it's doing an update anyway. And I don't know how long it's gonna take, hopefully not much longer. But as soon as that's updated, oh, oh, it's doing it now, install now. Okay, it's actually doing it now. So once that's back, I will finish that drawing. Um, and show you but I thought while we wait for that I would show you a lovely package I got um, and this is from Jenny Jenny is a patron of mine she's a massive supporter of mine she is so lovely she sends me the most lovely messages am I in focus yes <laughs> I still don't know if I'm in focus and I'm really worried about editing this vlog and not being in focus for the whole video so bear with me on that um anyway I got this lovely parcel I've covered my address but look she's got the most loveliest little hang on um, stickers on there um, so that one says designed and created in Dorset which I really love and then over here it says there we go happy post and then on the back it says uh, like her a return address and then this lovely little um, sticker which I've never seen before and it's such a lovely idea um, and it basically says reduce recycle reuse this packaging has been used this many times and she's put a cross through the first box so when I use it again, I can um, do the X in the second one and we can just keep reusing this envelope. And I think that's so special, I love it. Um, she got in touch and just said, please can I send you some happy mail? And I said, 
I would love that. Thank you so much. Um, so basically she's done this design and it's so beautiful. Look. Artist supporting artists. So that's a little sticker that she's done. And then with the same design, she's done a badge. A little card, like a postcard almost. And then um, she did me a little um, letter, well, oh, a card with the design. Dear Emily, I just wanted to send a little happiness your way. Things are just stressful and uncertain, aren't they, at the moment? And I just want you to know you are doing a fab job and I really appreciate everything you do. Lots of love, Jen. So thank you so much, Jen. That means so much. I'm gonna add it to my little box of goodies. So this little box here is full of all of your letters and your postcards you send me and um, yeah, so thank you so much. Um, I'll leave Jenny's details below. I love you very much. She's got a YouTube channel. I will leave that below. I'll just leave all of her details. So go and check her out. She's delightful. So that's Jenny. My iPad is doing something. So while I wait for that, let's see what else is on my list. I was meant to do a podcast recording today with Leona from Indie Roller. I can't remember if I talked about it. I talked about it on my podcast. Um, and I talked about it a few weeks ago on the studio vlogs, but um, yeah, I was invited onto Indie, Roller, Indie Roller's podcast, um, but because of everything that's happening, um, that got cancelled today, which is really sad, but I understand why. So I hope they'll record that in a few weeks, but it's kind of freed up my day because <laughs> I kind of blocked out a set time to do that. So it's free. So I'm going to finish off this Draw This In Your Style that I started last night and that's going to be it. <laughs> Exciting times. hadn't guessed um with what I was drawing I was drawing um this from Sarah Faber and she's really cute so I've done my own version and that's how she looks I'm still not in love with using procreate like I keep trying to use it but it's a struggle I don't enjoy it as much as photoshop so if anyone can suggest any like brushes I should maybe download um that would make it more enjoyable I think that's it I think I'm just not I don't like the brushes that are on there <laughs> Yeah, so if you have any recommendations for things I can download, please let me know. Because um, I do want to really enjoy it, but like this thing is nice, but I don't absolutely love it. Does that make sense? So I've just posted that drawing on Instagram. I don't normally show my phone, it's so weird. Um, so I've just posted it and I'm just putting a few hashtags on. Um, if you want to know how I do my Instagram posting, I did a whole video on it, so go and check that out. Do you know what? I finished it off in Photoshop. I just didn't like it. I don't, I can't get it to the finished stage in Procreate. I really struggle with it. So I put it into Photoshop 
and I, uh, what did I do? I tweaked the um, settings, um, bumped up the saturation a little bit, tweaked the levels. I know I can do that on Procreate, but I just can't. I physically can't do it. I don't enjoy doing it. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I need to practice. But for now, I seem to be finishing all my illustrations in Photoshop. Right, that is posted. Hopefully she likes it. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hi guys, it's now Friday and I now know how to use my camera properly and the lighting looks better. I am so, so sorry for how bright some of that was and how rubbish the footage looks. Anyway, let's not worry about it. I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried to cram in as much as possible this week. But it's been a fun one. I will leave details below for everything I've talked about. Um, I have a little offer going on on Patreon this month, so I'll leave details for that below. But yeah, thank you so, so much for joining me and um, I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Thank you.